coming to you from the Shaping Bay. Right now I'm hanging out with the iSurf 10.6 Aloha Cruiser Stand-Up Paddleboard. This is your introductory to intermediate level uh, stand-up paddleboard designed mostly for flat water paddling. I designed this board to mentions 10 foot 6 by 31 and a half inches by 4 and a half inches wide. It's got really, really nice full rails here, flat deck, and a squash tail. What that means is that it's going to be extremely stable. This board is designed to basically make paddleboarding accessible and fun for anyone. Uh, these mentions are good for any paddler up to about 210 pounds. If you weigh more than that, check out our Yogi Fisher model, which is our, our, our oversized board. Uh, let's see, all high surf boards feature EPS epoxy construction that's stronger and lighter than other construction types. Uh, all boards have a hardwood stringer and all of our stand-up paddle boards feature a bamboo deck. Right now you're looking at the carbon fiber model of the Aloha Cruiser, which means it features a bamboo deck and bottom, and it's got these really nice carbon fiber rails. Uh, they don't come out very good in pictures and video, but if you see these in person, you're going to be very impressed. I'm blown away with the, how good these rails look. Uh, let's see, standard features on all of our paddle boards, featuring leash plug, uh, carrying handle, and a vent on top. Flipping this over, the carbon fiber model, it weighs only, what is this one? This one's 22 and a half pounds, dry right now. We're going to include fins and a traction pad, uh, so the total weight of this board is going to be around 24 to 25 pounds. Uh, this, the carbon fiber model is about a pound, pound and a half lighter than the painted version. The painted version is going to still feature that bamboo deck, but it's going to have a colored rail and bottom. That's available in white, yellow, red, pink, green, and blue. Uh, bottom features of this board. It has a double concave all the way through. What that means is that this raised part in the middle is going to track really nice and straight while you're paddling in the water. And then these concaves down the side are actually going to trap air underneath the board, which makes it much, much faster because you're paddling on air rather than water. Uh, see, the fin setup is a 1 plus 2. It's a tri-fin thruster setup. It's uh, one big center keel fin down the center, and then the two side bite fins. These track really nice and straight, and also if you want to try giving it a surf, these side bites are going to help you engage the rails and make some turns. Uh, let's see, that's about it. If you have any questions, just give me a call. Um, otherwise, if you're interested, get over to the website or find your local dealer. These boards are going to sell really fast. We did a super limited run of these this year. Uh, so go check them out. This is the 10.6 Aloha Cruiser by iSurf. Uh, yeah, go get yours. Have some fun. Take care.